So welcome to the super gentle <clears throat> kind of unwind class. Uh, we've been doing for a few weeks now, looking at hopefully at, at things that may have helped you to relax in the evening uh, for a better night's sleep. Um, obviously sleep is influenced potentially by a lot of things, uh, but often it, it can be a <clears throat> very helpful to have a kind of um, bedtime practice almost or routine uh, that helps us to make a transition from doing mode, from daytime mode, uh, to um, rest and digest and then sleep mode. So this evening we'll do um, a yoga nidra again, which we've done a, a couple of times, a longer relaxation with a rotation of awareness around the body. And we'll do some gentle floor-based movements, which you can also do on your bed, on the sofa, uh, to help the muscles to unwind, to help the breath to go with that rest and digest uh, setting, you could say, of the nervous system. So using posture work, gentle movement, releasing, stretching, breathing, and then also this deep relaxation technique to help you unwind. I will start with a bit of breathing and um, kind of more of a meditation, but hopefully it's relaxing, to let go of the day. So you might want to start with your knees bent if that helps your back to relax. If you're someone that kind of gets a, a tight or tense lower back or that's where you get achy by evening time, that can be helpful. Uh, if that's not so helpful, do straighten your legs. And you could place your hands on your lower belly to encourage your breathing to you start to move down to the lower parts of the lungs, which also aids this rest and digest. It encourages us to relax our abdominal muscles, let go of constriction there, and which literally gives more space to the abdominal organs, including the digestive organs, to process what you've eaten today. We're seeing if you can completely relax your belly as you begin to settle. And you might like to lengthen your out breath a little, so breathing out a bit more slowly. Perhaps breathing out through your mouth, which we don't do so often in yoga, but can be really helpful to um, kind of let go a bit more, to let go of the day. And you can let the day run through your mind a little bit, maybe the highlights, appreciating any highlights, anything that was good, that you enjoyed, that you appreciated. And also allowing the memories of anything challenging to be there. Perhaps giving yourself a metaphorical pat on the back for getting through the day if it was, if it was challenging or tiring.
And then with the next few out breaths, setting an intention as you breathe out to let all of those moments go. Letting go of the day as it was. And then fully arriving in the here and now. Feeling your body on the ground or wherever you're lying or sitting. Noticing your body and the sensations in your body. And similarly to letting the day pass through your mind, you can let your awareness kind of visit your body, revisit different parts of your body that perhaps you haven't noticed for a while. If you currently have some something painful going on in your body, of course, allowing that to be there in your awareness. Alongside noticing what feels okay in your body. Again, acknowledging and appreciating everything about your body, how it is in this moment. Another part of you doing the best it can, getting through the days. start doing some super gentle movements so hopefully you can follow them pretty well without needing to look at the screen it's quite nice not to look at the screen if you can can avoid it um, especially if you've you've got tired eyes or a headache so from the position most of you are in already, lying down with your knees bent. You can first start to feel your feet on the ground. Noticing how your feet are. Perhaps you took your awareness there already, just now, when I invited you to do so. But now you can bring a bit more attention to your feet. You could wriggle your toes a little bit, maybe feeling the air around your feet between your toes or the material of your socks. And then bringing one knee in towards you and you could take your hands around the back of your thigh, back of your knee and then taking your foot up a little bit in a way that feels really nice and easy so you, your, your knee can stay really quite bent and just circling your ankle three or four times clockwise and anti-clockwise. You can go quite slowly and noticing how the movement is. It might be a little bit juddery, mine's a little bit juddery. You can make it a bit smaller. Let's see if you can make it smooth. 
And then for a moment, straightening your leg a bit more till you feel a stretch at the back of your leg, wiggling your toes again, and then popping your foot back down on the ground. We'll do the same on the other side. So bringing your other knee in towards you, support it around the back of your knee if you find that helpful. And taking your foot up a little bit so you can circle your ankle easily. Again, seeing if you can make that movement as smooth as possible. Noting any little parts of the movement that might feel kind of a bit rusty, maybe like there's a little hesitation. If we can smoothen those out, practice making it smoother, we're possibly releasing bits of tension and also improving neural pathways between the brain and the foot. When you've done three or four in each direction, you take your foot up a bit more till you feel a stretch at the back of your leg, wriggling your toes again, and then popping the foot back down. And then straightening your legs for a moment, you might only do one leg. See how it is to open up the front of your hip. So this can be nice if you've spent a lot of time sitting for work or maybe just at home, and bending over. So often our hips are in a forward bend when we're sitting on a chair like that or in the car, squatting or kneeling in the garden. So straightening our legs and then letting our hips, our thighs really roll in and out at the hips so that you're on the inward rotation, your feet roll towards each other and on the outward rotation, they roll the other way. And if you're doing one leg at a time because that's easier on your back, you can swap over now. Probably a good time, and then just doing another three or four on the other side. Just encouraging our hips to let go a bit at the front, the hip flexors here at the front. And then we can bend our knees again and find a nice comfortable place for them to, to stand as it were. Feel free to let your knees lean in towards each other if that helps you to relax your thighs. And we'll move up to um, the lower back now for a little tiny movement where we, on the exhale, flatten the lower back towards the floor. And on the inhale, arch it away. So just a little movement here where on the in-breath I'm increasing the space between my lower back and the mat, and on the out breath, I'm decreasing it. So I'm demonstrating it with my hands underneath my lower back. So on the exhale, I'm pressing my lower back into my hand. On the inhale, I'm creating more space for it. The other way to describe it would be to think of the pelvis Tipping on the exhale, the tailbone slightly tipping up, and on the inhale, pelvis tipping the other way, and the tailbone going towards the floor. And the effect of it can also be that our head slightly moves, so you might be able to feel that, or see it on the screen. When I flatten my lower back, my chin comes up, and when I arch it, my chin goes down. Don't worry if that's not happening for you. You might be doing a smaller movement. You'll have a different spinal response. It's all fine. 
if your head kind of feels like it wants to move, let it move though. You don't, you don't need to keep it still. And then we'll come back to a neutral position with the, the back, just letting it relax as it is. And then taking your arms out to the side and make a very loose fist with your thumb on the inside. And you're holding your thumb in a super gentle way. And we're going to have our arms out at shoulder level hope you've got space. And then first, very gently on the out breath, rolling your arms forwards. On the in breath, rolling them backwards on the floor. I'm just demonstrating it once or twice on the screen with my arms slightly lifted so you can see. You're doing it, resting your arms on the floor. So very gently letting them roll forward so your fingers come to the floor on the out breath and on the in breath, rolling them back so the knuckles roll across the floor. And doing it less than you know you could. So if you're rolling as far as you can, then half the movement, do about half of what you could do. This can be part of an evening routine is to slow down, do things at a slower pace. Do less. So most of us are still probably going to be up for a while. And it's light quite late at the moment. We're coming up to the summer solstice in a few weeks. We're slowing down, letting our body slow down, letting our movements become smaller and slow down. And then the next few movements will roll the other way. So from back of the hands on the floor, the knuckles on the floor are going to roll backwards so that your little finger side of your hands comes up towards the ceiling. So rolling backwards and then back to neutral, keeping your arms on the floor, rolling up towards your thumb, I'm on the floor, so the little fingers are up towards the ceiling and then back across the knuckles till the knuckles are back on the floor. Again, doing about half of what you know you could do with that movement. And then when you next bring your arms back to this position where your knuckles are resting on the floor. Cross our arms over our chest, taking the hands around the shoulders. We often call this the hugging gesture, or gesture of self-care. Giving ourselves a hug, you might want to rub or massage your shoulders a little bit. As you breathe out, you can notice how your shoulders might relax a bit more. As you breathe in, feeling your rib cage widening. And then crossing your arms the other way, so the hug goes the other way. 
Bringing some kindness to ourselves in this hug. And then bringing our arms to the floor again, about shoulder level, relaxing the hands now so they don't need to be in fists. And then taking your uh, right hand across your forehead, can let it rest lightly there or a little more heavily, whatever feels a bit more comforting or reassuring. You can also do this without a hand on your forehead and leave the arm on the floor if that feels better for whatever reason. And we're going to very gently roll the head to the right and back, encouraging it to roll with the, a hand. So your hand just encourages gently your head to roll to the right and back. And you could do the rolling to the right on the exhale and roll back on the inhale. If it's more calming to just let the breath do its own thing and for you to focus on the movement, that's also fine. You could do up to about six of these and probably a more. You don't have to roll far, doing less than you know you could do. And when your head comes back to the center this time, bringing the right arm down to the floor, Taking the left hand across the forehead and then rolling the head to the left and back. Around about six times, slowly, gently. Doing less than you know you could do. And when you next bring your head back to the center, and bringing both your arms back to the floor, or your left arm back to the floor. And we bring our knees in towards our chest, both knees, and hug the hands around the knees, giving them a little bit of a rub. Taking a little rock from side to side, again a small one. And let your head roll by itself now, in the opposite direction of your knees. It's fairly small. And then you can support the backs of your legs again with your hands if you find that helpful. Or kind of let the thighs rest on the palms of your hands, wedging your elbows to the floor by your sides and creating like a little support for your thighs. And taking your feet up a little bit, doing some more of these slow ankle rotations. You can also do this with your legs a lot more bent, looking for ease and comfort rather than big stretchings. Going the other way, slow, smooth circles. And 
Just briefly letting your legs stretch up a bit more towards the ceiling, opening the backs of your knees again, and then bringing the feet back down. And then stretching your legs out again, and maybe just one to start with. Again, notice how your lower back is with these things. Opening the front of the hips, resting your hands wherever you like. You might like to rest them on your hips or by your side. Notice what feels nice for your shoulders in that respect. And then we'll squeeze our buttock muscles a few times, like squeeze them and then slowly release them. So this will encourage the front of the hips to open up just a tiny bit more and this squeeze contract and release technique can really help us to let go of tension in muscles and sometimes we hold tension in the lower back and the glutes and the buttocks might not realize it this can really help us to relax and release our lower back if you're doing one leg at a time, you can swap over and do a few more. You're squeezing always both buttocks, but you might just have one leg straight. Making this the last one. And bringing both knees in towards you again. And a couple of breaths on the exhale, bringing the knees closer. And the inhale, moving them away. A bit more of a lower back release. And then keeping the right knee in towards you. Bringing the left heel back to the floor and then letting the left heel slide away. So you're extending your left leg uh, away from you towards the end of your mat. And you're keeping your right knee in towards you. And then again, just squeezing the buttock of the left side now, your left buttock. Feel a little tiny roll as you squeeze and release that. Rolling of your pelvis, a bit of a hip stretch. Squeeze and release the left buttock. And then straightening out the right leg and bringing the left knee in towards you. Doing that on the other side. So Tract and release the right buttock, allowing your pelvis to roll a little bit as you do that, if it wants to roll. And then when you've done that, bringing your right knee in towards you again, one hand on each knee, separating your knees and bringing them back together. So a bit more of a hip release, hip rotation. My hips are nice and clicky this evening. And then going the other direction. And then with the knees in towards you again, you might like to support the backs of the legs. Once again, straightening out the legs, stretching the hamstrings, calves, taking the feet up, and then bending the knees again, letting the legs, feet come back down. And then you could straighten your legs if you find 
that more helpful right now? It feels like your hips could do is a bit more of a release that way. Straighten your legs if it feels better for your lower back to keep your knees bent and stay like that. We'll come back to the shoulders for a moment. So we're going to take our arms up towards the ceiling so your hands are kind of above your chest. And then reaching the left arm up and releasing it back to the starting position. So your arms stay vertical, but you're just kind of lifting from the shoulder and back. So sometimes I call this walking the ladder, reaching up from the shoulder and coming back, and going from side to side. Again, you can see if you can make these movements quite smooth. And then bringing both shoulders back down. And then crossing the right arm over the left, going back to the hugging gesture. And then if you wanted to, you could go into a kind of eagle pose with your arms. So the backs of your hands can come towards each other or even the palms meeting like the arm position in eagle balance. And then you could move your arms backwards and forwards a little bit over towards the, the forehead. Just how that feels. And then crossing them the other way. Releasing the shoulders and the upper back. And then bring our arms back down and you might like to just stretch them up above your head behind you if you've got space for them opening the shoulders that way and taking a deep breath in maybe arching your back a little bit and extending your heels and you're making yourself really long from your heels to your hands and then relaxing that your arms back down. And then bending your knees again if you've had your legs straight. And take your arms a little bit closer to your side, not super close, a bit of distance between your hip and your hand. And do super gentle bridge. So, especially if you're feeling a bit tired, you might just want to press your feet down, lift your pelvis an inch or two and bring it straight back down. If it feels okay, you can roll up a bit higher. It's just kind of a massage for the, the muscles near the spine from the top to the bottom. quite nice. It feels nice for your shoulders and you're not feeling that, that tired. You could go a bit further to open up the muscles at the top of the chest and the front of the shoulders. A bit more. See how you feel today. And then Come back down, just a little bit of that bridge. And then bring the knees in towards the chest. And we could do a little bit of a bigger rock so you could still hold your knees and walk a bit further. You can let your head roll in the same direction. You can use your elbow 
for your arms to stop you from toppling over. You can always place your arms on the floor if that feels better, so it's more like a full twist. See what your body likes. See what keeps you feeling nice and stable and at ease. And then bringing feet back down. And we're going to come into the position you'd like for the relaxation. So you might want to now put a, another layer on if you're starting to feel a bit chilly. Um, you might want to change position if you're thinking well actually i'd like to do this on my side tonight or your front transfer to the sofa or your bed and as always if um, at the end of relaxation you're ready to go to to sleep or you're just in a very quiet place in terms of your mind and your verbal, and, uh, please don't feel obliged to, to come back to the screen at all. You just stay as you are, or switch off, and just go quietly do whatever, whatever else you need to do this evening. Especially if you did move or got up to get something. You might like a few more of those slow exhalations. Exhalations, perhaps breathing out through your mouth with a gentle sigh. You might like to imagine your body sinking, releasing into a lovely, warm surface, maybe like soft sand on the beach, soft grass. The loveliest mattress imaginable. And maybe you'd like to imagine yourself floating on the surface of a nice warm sea. Or releasing back in a hot bath. Some of these images or body memories of, of those kinds of moments can help us to yield to gravity, to let go of any remaining holding on that might be there in the muscles. And then 
we can take our awareness around the different parts of the body. This is the yoga nidra style relaxation. We'll start today with the face, with our face. So that's often a part of us that's very busy during the day and also reacts quite strongly, the muscles of the face react quite strongly to the different emotions that go through us. So bring our attention, we don't need to do anything except for bring our attention to our forehead, the right temple, the left temple, the right eyebrow, the left eyebrow, and the space between the eyebrows. The right eye, the left eye, right eyelid, left eyelid, right side of the nose and right nostril, left side of the nose and left nostril. Right cheek, left cheek, and the upper lip, your lower lip, the space between the lips, chin, the jaw, jaw, from the right ear to the left ear. And being aware of the right ear, outside of it, and the inside of it. And then the outside of the left ear, and the inside of the left ear. And then being aware of the whole of your face. and becoming aware of the crown of the head and the back of the head and then the curve of the base of the skull from the right ear to the left ear and then being aware of the nape of the neck and then the spine from the back of the head down to the tailbone. And allowing your awareness to travel back up the spine on an in-breath from the tailbone to the base of the skull. And on the out-breath back down again to the tailbone. Doing that a couple of times and being aware of the spine as you do this. Breathing in, going up, breathing out, going down. And after the next out breath, Letting that be and take your awareness to your right, right shoulder blade. And then your left shoulder blade. And the right side of your back. And the left side of your back. Right buttock. Left buttock. And then going down the right leg, the back of the thigh, the back of the right knee, the calf, the heel, the right sole of the foot, the right ankle, then the top of the foot, the right big toe, and all the other toes.
And then going to the left leg, the back of the left thigh, back of the left knee, calf, the heel, the sole of the left foot, the ankle, the top of the left foot, the big toe, and the other toes of the left foot. And then being aware of the whole of the back of the body from the crown of the head to the base of the toes. And the ends of the toes on each foot. And then the tops of the toes tops of the feet, in front of the ankles. And then being aware of the right shin, the right knee, and the front of the right thigh. And the left shin, the left knee, and the top of the left thigh. And being aware of the front of the right hip and the front of the left hip. And then being aware of the pubic area in between the hips. And then being aware of the belly below the navel, around the navel and above the navel. And then being aware of the right side of the chest, the left side of the chest, and the breastbone, and the right collarbone, the left collarbone, the right shoulder, and the left shoulder. And we'll go down the right arm from the shoulder to the upper arm, right elbow, right forearm, right hand, arm of the hand, thumb, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, little finger back of the right hand and then the whole of the hand and then moving back up the arm to the right shoulder and then to the left shoulder and down the left upper arm left elbow forearm wrist hand, thumb, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, little finger, back of the hand, whole of the hand. And coming back up the left arm, and being aware of both shoulders, the neck, throat, face, head, the back, the buttocks, backs of your legs, heels, soles of your feet, tops of the feet, all of the feet, fronts of the legs, all of the legs, all of the pelvis, all of the belly and the waist, all of the rib cage, both arms, both hands. And then being aware of the whole of the front of your body, the whole of the front of your body. 
and then aware of the whole of the back of your body. Back of your body. And being aware of the right side of your body. The whole of the right side. And then the whole of the left side. Left side. And then the whole body. Aware of your whole body. Becoming aware of your eyes, your closed eyes. Perhaps a sense of the eyelashes touching. And noticing any colors or shapes that you might see behind your closed eyes. And becoming aware of your forehead again. And imagine in the space just in front of your eyes and your forehead, even though your eyes are closed. Imagine that is the visualization space. As if the cinema screen is there your imagination can project things on. And then we'll invite you to notice any response, visual or in your body and in your mind, to the following images. So just relax and listen. Sunshine. Blue sky, white clouds, spring meadow, soft summer rain, a rainbow, a calm sea. Warm sand, birds high in the sky, a sunflower, an oak tree in full leaf. forest, a desert, snowy mountain tops, a waterfall, a wide flowing river, Dragonflies over a pond. Water lilies. Notice how you're feeling now. Feeling your body. Feeling 
feeling your breath. Feeling the support of the ground or the furniture underneath your body. Very gently, if you want to, take a few deeper breaths in. You may wish to softly open your eyes or become aware of the sounds around you so you know where you are. If you're in a delicious, deep state of relaxation still, Feel free to stay there for as long as you can or would like to. <laughs> <laughs> 